Hey, what's up, Virgos? I'm Infinite Star Heart. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. If you're new, welcome and thank you for being here. If this reading helps you in any way, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. That way you will be notified each time I upload a new reading. Also, I am doing a two free question reading giveaway that I'll be doing now until further notice. For those of you that are interested, the way to enter is to like this video, subscribe, and comment enter. You must be a subscriber and you must comment enter to be eligible for the two free question reading giveaway. All right. We are in the final month of the 2020 calendar year before closing out this cycle and heading into a new one. We are in Sagittarius season, but Capricorn season is just right around the corner. I'll be doing your December 2020 monthly reading for all of my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node signs. Our moon is currently in the sign of Aquarius, but we'll be heading into the signs of Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini and Cancer before we close out this month. We also had a new moon that was in the sign of Sag and with that new moon we had a solar eclipse at the same time. That solar eclipse is going to provoke changes that's going to be external to us all. Changes that's going to be positive and for the better. We're going to be encouraged to embrace these changes as we're going to be tested during these times. The effects of this eclipse can last anywhere up to six months. So try to do something that's going to be creative or that inspires you and put you in alignment towards your goals. Also, this eclipse is going to highlight what gives meaning in our lives and also what makes you feel safe. Okay, so just try to be mindful. Trust your intuition. Okay, always go with your inner values and try to handle situations in a balanced way. All right, Virgo, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump in and see what messages you need to know from now until the end of the month. And please note these readings are general, so only apply the messages that resonate and leave the rest. You can also check your other signs, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, as those messages may resonate for you there. All right, we're gonna get a message from our spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and higher source to see what do we need to know. Our first card is inner temple devotion. Tune in to the portal of your heart. All right, so you may be taking some time out just to cleanse your energy you may be doing some self-care meditation affirmations as well taking time to get centered to get grounded you may be very intuitive okay you may be needing to listen to your guides to help you uh, with something okay and at the bottom you do have get grounded empaths highly sensitive connect with nature okay so Pisces also have that card you may have Pisces in your chart somewhere all right but this is also talking about um, or this can be you uh, earth sign um, you may be an earth angel just needing to get grounded get centered take some time to yourself and do some inner work whether like I said whether that's meditative um, prayers or affirmations anything of the sort that's going to help you get in tune with spirit okay all right, Virgos, I'm also going to pull you a crystal. We do have, like I said, we just had that solar eclipse energy that's going to last up to six months. We do have a full moon that's coming up. And we do have winter solstice that is just a few days away as well. 
right? And during that time, you definitely do want to be recharging your energies. Okay, Virgo, your first crystal is called Sunstone. Beautiful. Maybe kind of hard to see the color a little bit. It's sort of light, like a light yellow. Who needs it? Fellas looking to operate on a higher plane. The vitamin D deprived. All solar powered human beings who do not, in fact, harvest life force by turning up the brightness on their smartphones. Where to put it? Anywhere you're looking for a boost of stamina. First thought, the gym. Sure, bro. When to use it? Whenever it's time to get busy or when your disposition needs a little sunnying up. Alright, so this crystal sunstone is used to help take back your shine. All right, so masculine specifically, uh, Virgo masculines here. Um, the sunstone crystal would be good for you. All right, to help maybe get a boost of uh, stamina back, get some energy flow going. You may be feeling stagnant in a situation. Or feel like something isn't moving forward for you. Alright, let's get another one. Alright, your next crystal is Shungite. That's what it looked like. Kind of a black color. Black reminds me of protection. Who needs it? Anybody looking to get honest with themselves? Where to put it? In your water bottle? To create Shungite infused drinking water? Meditating with Shungite can get the good vibes flowing through you like electricity. Through a neon sign that reads, yes. When to use it? When it's time to reclaim your energy from wherever it's been and whomever it's been with. So this crystal Shungite is used to help you get real with your truth. Okay, and also, like I said, that color, um, it's sort of a lot of black, like a, it's a dark crystal, and darker crystals usually is uh, for protection and protecting your energy. Um, like I said, this helps to get good vibes flowing. All right, also help you to get real with yourself, speak your truth. Alright, and your crystal at the bottom is called Danberite. Danberite, that's what it looks like. It almost looks like a quartz, but it's a little it's a little more cloudy. Alright, where who needs it? Emos, goths, button up white collar stress cases. Where to put it? Wherever you want to do some elevated thinking, feeling, dreaming, and being. When to use it. When the daily grind has ground you into the pavement. When you feel like launching into space but lack astronaut training. Vibing with Dambernite can help divert your busy mind away from its pesky physics rule orientation. There's somewhere, there's somewhere else out there. Flip on the high beams and explore. Okay, so this crystal is used to help turn on your electric lights. Danberite, that's what it looks like. Okay, so um, I think this is a good crystal for you, Virgos, because you all are the hard workers of the zodiac, all right? And um, you may be just in the everyday, you know, bustle. Um, with the day-to-day -day with your career um, and just need some time to cleanse you may be feeling dull uh, this the place where you work at maybe having you feeling like you know like kind of like you're limited okay you're needing to do some something else to stir up your energy okay all right, so those are your crystals. Um, Danberite, I'll show them again. That's what that one looks like. 
Shungite. And also I'll have the names listed in the description box at the bottom. And Sunstone. Beautiful crystal there. All right, let's go ahead and see what energies are coming in towards you for the month of December. For my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node signs. Underlying energy, you have the Ten of Gabriel. Ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. Working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. All right, Virgo, this is fire energy. You may have Leo in your Leo, Aries, or Sag in your chart. Okay, but the Ten of Gabriel is the Ten of Wands, and this talks about endings. Um, something could have been a burden for you. So you are putting down the burdens, okay? Um, this can be some unexpected as well. You also have new beginnings underneath that. Starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. All right, so some of you all may be ready to end a situation so that way you can have a new beginning, a new start with something else. Okay. Um, finding your purpose. All right, let's go ahead and pull some cards. First card, the sun, major arcana here. Life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and expiring success. All right, beautiful. So the sun card, this can be a happy outcome with something. This can be something being illuminated to you as well. Um, this can also be a new opportunity, okay? This can be some gift or an idea all right for a new project this is also um knowledge and information something that's going to get you get you going towards something here wow also you have divine guidance beautiful the search for meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. All right, so already this is going to be a um, spiritual reading, I feel like, but Spirit is letting you know that your steps are being ordered here. Okay, Virgo? Your guidance is divinely guided. You do have ancestors, angels that are watching over you, that are helping you, and that are guiding you during this time. Do reach in and ask for their help if you feel like something isn't clear. You may need some answers. Next card is the Four of Ariel. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. When you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change. Extremes in how you save or spend money. Okay, so you may be holding back. Maybe trying to save some money for something. This may be for a new opportunity. This may be you having to pay for some type of schooling or resource uh, information. Okay, and then the five of Ariel, wow. 
You don't need to go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. Okay, so this can be a change in your workplace. All right, this can also suggest that you may be needing some help financially. All right, or someone may be needing your help. Okay, let's get one more. Lots of earth energy. Wow, and then, yeah, new beginnings. Lots of majors, oh my God. Okay, we have the magician that came out um, with new beginnings, but I'm just going to take that. Okay, so that's just letting me know that you are ready for this new beginning. This is you playing a hand, playing a role, having all of the resources, knowing just what to do. Okay, you can manifest, manifest the life that you want. Okay, and this is also saying that you're going to have a successful beginning. Whatever this new beginning is, if this is something that you're working on or you're, you know, not sure which way it's going to go with this Five of Pentacles. Because that's saying, you know, things could, you know, go well or things could go pretty bad. All right. But at the bottom, you do have the Nine of Ariel. Your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love for the beautiful things in life. Okay, so this is you just being proud of yourself, being proud of the things that you have accomplished in life. Okay, you've built um, a comfortable life. You may be single during this time as well. You do have the Four of Cups energy underneath that. Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. Okay, so some of you all may be contemplating on an offer. You may need to review these options. If this is regarding school, you may be receiving some type of news you may be receiving the go ahead also be sure to review any contracts or documents very thoroughly okay all right so let's see why these energies are showing up for you bottom you have sacred space altar prayer candles commune with your own divinity okay so you're taking what I feel like is some me time okay you're just in this space of where you're wanting peace <clears throat> peace and serenity okay you may be needing to set up an altar where you can um, connect with your ancestors if you have any loved ones that has passed. You also have observed social media, fascination, curiosity, watching from a distance. Okay, so... Um, This can be you looking up something online. You may be looking for new careers. Okay, first part. You have denial. Repressed emotions, rejection, unable to see below the surface. Alright, so... 
there may be something that you're not seeing clearly okay but something I feel like will be illuminated to you maybe for some of you you was denied there could have been some opportunity that you were denied for okay if so that's okay that's not your only option or choice all right you do have up outcome results conclusion ending you will get a resolution yeah what i'm getting for some of you all if you were denied something whether this is a new opportunity for work school whatever it is or a person you could have um you were rejected or denied because you were being protected okay regardless if this was a home or job it, it was something here that um Yeah, it's like not seeing, you're not able to see the bigger picture of it all. Okay, but yeah, you are being protected with something. You have hidden paths. Detour, slow down, explore, go in a new direction. So yeah, I feel like Spirit is trying to get you all to um, take on this new direction possibly a new approach or way of doing things okay like I said if you were denied or rejected for something it was done for your protection all right you have a loan abandoned lonely lost the divine is with you absolutely and you have received open-minded abundant ready it is your time to receive absolutely all right so yeah so again some of you all may be feeling like you weren't sure how things were going to turn out this may be you know a completely new endeavor for you you know this is a new journey that you are on all right but this journey is going to um, put you in path put you in alignment to your soul's purpose okay at the bottom you do have healing self-care time out be gentle with yourself and your twin okay so you may be receive um, receiving you may be healing from a past situation mm -hmm. Possibly with a twin or, yeah, this could be a twin or soulmate. Some of you all, you had to heal from a situation first before this opportunity, this new offer could show up for you. All right, let's clarify. Some of you all are deciding to start eating healthier. You're going to start eating more fruits and vegetables or putting more fr fruits and vegetables in your diet. the bottom we have the fool all right this is you taking the leap of faith and also having faith and trusting that things is going to work out okay the fool this is somebody going on a brand new journey okay like I say you have this new beginning doing something new doing something that you haven't done before but you know just knowing that you have all of the skills you have the experience you know, you have the resources, all of that. Okay, some of you all are 
embarking on this new journey after a connection possibly with a Scorpio could have ended. Alright. Or this can be you. You could have ended a connection. We have death and the four of wands here at the bottom. Right. Denial. Alright. Five of Swords. Okay, so the Five of Swords is Air Energy, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. But this can be some type of interference. Like I said, this was a denial or rejection of some sort. Alright, but this is still you being able to, you know, persevere. It could have been some challenges, you know, for you. Um, something could have been difficult. And you may have had some type of mental conflict regarding, you know, making this decision. But it's, it's, a, it's for, you know, it's for a good cause. Okay, yeah, because you have the Ace of Cups. Seeing things differently. All right, this is also having a new beginning. This can be a... Um, this is you having success within something as well. Okay, this can also be a new uh, love offer or a new friendship. A gift as well. Okay, you have the hanging man. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So yes, like I said, some of you are feeling stuck. Um, you may be feeling like you're losing money. You may be traveling back and forth to, to school or to work. Yeah, you were... This, again, I feel like this was spirit. You know, this could have been some type of setback for you, but this was all being done or being orchestrated by your your spirit guides. Okay, they want you to, to take a pause to look at something here. Yeah. And do something differently. Okay, the star, beautiful. All right, yeah, this is you healing, that healing energy that I was seeing. Also, um, things do coming true for you. You getting your way with something, okay? You having hope and having that faith. All right, I feel like um, that's very strong for you during this time. You may be dealing with an Aquarius or have that in your chart. But this is your hopes and wishes. Hoping for the best within something. You have the two of pentacles. Alright. So, yeah, this is you. Juggling two things. This can be ideas. This can be work. Okay, at the bottom, you do have the lovers, all right? You could be dealing with a Gemini, and underneath that, you have the Two of Swords and the Four of Cups, okay? So, with that Two of Swords and with the lover's energy, um, I do feel like you could be dealing with an air sign, possibly a Gemini or an Aquarius, um, but there was something you didn't see with this person. There was something you was unaware of or could have been in denial of, okay? That was that denial that we were seeing as well. You possibly had to cut someone off. Okay, you definitely wasn't 
there is like there was something you didn't know regarding the situation and you do have the eight of cups after that you have the four of cups and the eight of cups so contemplating an offer but knowing you know like there's something better yeah you, knowing that there's something better and that it's time to move on you're just waiting on a chapter to close okay you're you're wrapping things up so that way you can start this new beginning here that you have speaking your truth as well making wise decisions okay but you have to take some time to pause and reflect and to go go within all right let's go ahead and look and see what's showing up for you in love some of you all like I said this may be regarding a new career path all right at the bottom you have express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture Okay, you have religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay, so yeah, you could have had some conflict with someone. You could have had different beliefs, different backgrounds. It was like you could have been opposite from this person healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents okay so this is what could have been realized um, what was illuminated to you that you know there's still some some healing that was needed to be done possibly within a connection This is someone that's used to doing things the way that they see them, possibly the way their parents did it, or they seen the way something was done when they were a child, and maybe it was affecting the connection you had with them. Yeah, because you have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Yeah, so that's what you or possibly your person is taking the time to reflect on and look now to see like you know how they how did you all in, end up here it's like how did we end up in this where we don't know you know what's going to happen okay but you do have worth waiting for Divine timing is at work in your love life. Absolutely. So this is you still having hope that things is going to work out for the better. 